Today in the studio, I have a special guest who is also a very good friend of mine, Ashley Gouge from Pauline's Place. And Ashley is here to tell us a little bit today about um, an upcoming event that Pauline's Place is hosting. So it's called um, Steps for Support. Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Um, so what we're doing is we're going to be doing a five kilometer walk in the downtown area. Uh, the whole premise is a lot of people in the shelter, their only means of transportation is walking around. So we kind of want to give everyone the feel for that. So what we're going to be doing is we're having people collect pledges in the community and we're going to have prizes for first, second and third. And we're also hosting a barbecue there afterwards. And, and so it's a fundraiser, right? Yes. And what exactly is the money going towards assisting with Pauline's Place? Um, because we're city funded, we're non for profit, so we really rely on support from the community, agencies and stuff like that. So what I'm hoping to see it do is go towards household stuff and stuff that we can do with the clients, so even games, movie nights and stuff like that. And can you tell me, I mean, for people who don't know, uh, what are some of the services that Pauline's Place offers? In addition to being a shelter, um, you guys help people find housing, right? Yes, so we work with other agencies in the community. So we work closely with Algoma Public Health, Community Mental Health, John Howard. So all these supports will come into our agency and they'll work one-on-one -on -one with the clients to help them find housing quicker. And in terms of the event, um, have you had a lot of community support so far? Or what are we looking for exactly from the community to make this event happen? Um, I've had tremendous support when I've went around looking for donations. We partnered with quite a few people already who are willing to be generous enough to give us stuff for prizes. Um, mainly what I'm looking for is anybody who wants to collect pledge forms and wants to go out in the community to raise money, people if they just want to show up and walk to show their support, um, as well if people don't want to get the pledge forms, we do have a website that they can go on and donate right on there as well. And I don't even think I asked, when is the event? Uh, August 4th, <laughs> so that'll be a Saturday and it starts at 10 a.m. And the starting point is at Pauline's, Pauline's Place. Yeah, so we're going to start in the back and then we kind of go along the hub trail and go through up through Queen Street. And our plan is to stop by the NRC um, because a lot of people that we work with often use the support to the NRC. So we'd like to go there, have a water station and work with them as well. That's great. So you guys do have a working partnership with the NRC? Yes. And uh, are they are they kind of coming on board with this project as well? I'm working on, you know, trying to get a hold of people down there, but so far they've been nothing but great. That's great. And one last question. If people want to get involved, um, how can they reach you? Do you guys have a Facebook page? Um, do they, is there a phone number that they can call if they want to put in uh, pledges or? Yeah, so we have a Facebook page. It's just Pauline's Place. Um, I've shared the event on there. I had to make the event on my Facebook page, but it's shared through there so they can link up through there. Um, I try and post things that are going on and what we're working on with that. Uh, as well, they can give us a call at the shelter. So that's 7594663. We're staffed 24 seven. So if, even if they want to walk down and grab something, they can do so. That's great. And then this is the first the first time that you're hosting this kind of event, right? Yes. Okay. So are you hoping that it's going to be an annual event or uh, can you not quite say yet? That, no, that's the goal. We'd like to do annual. So what we're doing is we're kind of trying to find these big fundraisers that we can do every year along with, you know, small ones set aside. And you mentioned before when we were talking uh, earlier um, that there are some other upcoming events with Pauline's Place. Did you want to get, get into any of the other fundraisers? Yes, yeah, so we don't have dates yet. Um, we do do an annual pallet build off, so we're working on getting things for that organized as well as people can again go on the Facebook page and look that up. We're also working on a carnival that we'd like to have hopefully near the end of September, beginning of October. So there are a few things coming up um, that will need some community support in order to make this happen. and. It's all providing shelter for local youth and women who are uh, facing homelessness. Yes, and we also support families as well. Great. Thank you so much, Ashley, um, for coming in and sharing that with us. Um, so if anybody wants to get involved and find out how they can help out with Pauline's Place, stop by the shelter. What's the address? Uh, 923 Queen Street. 923 Queen Street, staff 24-7. I'm sure they'll be happy to uh, have you get involved. And don't forget to check out the Facebook pages. We'll be back with more news after this.